Hi everyone! In this video we're going to learn how to set up our greetings for custom hold music or message and ringing tones. I do suggest that you watch the video on how to set up your greetings for voicemail as it's very similar and I'm just going to show you how to go through this a little bit quicker. There are three types of recorded greetings. Text to greetings, recording from your phone, and uploading your own greeting. The greetings can be used for voicemail, menus, custom hold music, and ringing tones. Today we're going to go over the last two of the four. So I'm going to start and by showing you how to upload your own custom hold music. So we're going to log into our phone.com account, go to configure, and add a greeting. So under here, you're going to add your nickname. I recommend that you always add a, add a nickname because like I mentioned, um, your greetings can be used for voicemail, menus, ringing tones, custom hold music. So this gives you a really good way to reference your greetings quickly. So custom hold music, Jill. All right, I want it for all and I'm going to allow as hold music and random start position, sure, because it's just music and it can start anywhere. I'm going to upload a music file from my computer. Please just remember to make sure that you have permission from the rightful owner of anything that's copyrighted. Um, last thing you want is to get in trouble for using music you're not supposed to um, or that you don't have permission to use. So I'm going to choose my file and upload it. It takes a little while to upload. So just be patient. Once your music has been uploaded, you'll see a note up here that says recording uploaded successfully. You just want to make sure that the button for allow use as hold music is clicked as yes. We're going to enable start position. And we can test the, the music. So that's what I uploaded and then I'm going to save that greeting. <clears throat> You'll notice that it's not under Manage Greetings. Just click on Message, Music on Hold, and you'll see what you just uploaded is sitting right under Message, Music on Hold. Now, <clears throat> you can also add greeting, another greeting for um, Message on Hold. Some people don't want to use music when people are on hold. They want a message stating a short history of the company um, or thank you for calling. So I'm going to add a greeting. And I'm going to name this custom hold message. Allow for hold music, yes. I don't want it to have a random start position because it's more um, text than music. So. so I already typed something and then just pasted it in there. So this is uh, my hold message telling a little bit about the company, how many people we employ, how many customers we serve. Then I'm gonna select a voice. Hi, my name is Amy. And then I'm going to save the greeting. Let's say hypothetically that you don't want uh, the computer's voice. You want to record uh, your own voice. You would then click record from phone, click to record a greeting, enter your phone number, and click down here where it says call. Phone.com will then immediately call you and then you can record your message from there. Um, I do recommend that you put your script in your notes here so you have a place to read off of, um, but you also have some place that you can reference uh, what's in that message. If you don't want to record from your phone and you don't want the computer's voice from the text to greeting, you also have the option of purchasing professional custom recordings. You can have a professional uh, voice read your message. Um, you can always click here to learn more. But today I'm going to just stick with the computer's voice, stick with Amy's, and save my greeting.
So you'll see custom hold message Jill, custom hold music Jill. They're both sitting there. Now I want to make sure that I have it set up correctly for my hold music. So I'm going to go to configure, hold music. And then it'll take me to system audio. You're going to go to hold music, and go to the drop down, and you'll see under personal all the custom hold music or messages that you've created. So once that's done, you choose, I'm going to choose that one, and I'm going to enable the random hold music position. You would then just scroll down and save, but I also want to show you something else. If you don't have any hold music that you can upload of your on your own, you can also choose the standard music that phone.com provides you. Anything from groovy to upbeat piano, upbeat rock. If you want something a little bit fancier, you can just click up here to enable premium hold music for 99 cents a month. And now you can choose Bob Marley, Bruce Springsteen, um, classic rock, Madonna. But I'm going to stick to my music and disable the premium hold and then save my changes. takes a second or two. See? So the note up here will tell me that my changes have been successfully saved. So that's done. My hold music is now what I just uploaded. Now you can use your hold music or your message also as a ringing tone. So when somebody calls your number, instead of hearing the ringing sound, they can hear the music or the message that you've created um, under greetings. So I'll show you how to set that up. We're going to go to configure and manage numbers. You're going to click on edit and it's going to be number action. You're going to click on edit again. So this is going to be incoming calls for all incoming calls and select how calls should be handled. I want it to play the hold music and you'll see right up here the music that I uploaded earlier. So I'm going to click on that. You could preview it. And then I want it to ring for 15 seconds. That seems pretty normal. And after 15 seconds, if nobody picks up, I want it, the second action I want it to do is leave a voicemail for my extension. And if you have more rules, call handling rules that you want to set up, you can add right here. But I'll save that for another video. We're just going to save rule settings. So now you have ringing tone and custom hold music or message. Now, oops. If you have any further questions, need any further assistance, please feel free to reach out to our phone.com customer support team by phone, email, or you can even reach uh, out to them via live chat on our website at www.phone.com. Thank you so much.